Don't be shy. Um, I don't think he needs an intro. His name is his intro already. So everybody give a big round of applause for two jerks. Oh! All right, my brother. All right, my brother Pete, what you on Oh yeah, the good young son introduced cool with ya. All right. Okay. Nya Jean, welcome to the first Hmong concert at Running Aces. Let's give that a round of applause, right? I knew when they built this huge track, I knew Hmong people were thinking, oh, we know be a Mokai Shi Sang. Oh, we it's it's in our blood. I was looking outside with the I can imagine, right? Dautulu, there's a lot of places in Dautulu, right? All sorts of cool stuff we can do here. So, welcome on behalf of GPS Realty, Mr. Varmeng Moore, also uh, in combination with Running Aces. What's your nation to Tonight, the theme is we're gonna bring it back to the 80s. Yes. Back in the day, we see some 80s. There. Oh, the Tango Brothers are here. Oh, yo, the thought you over, huh? Tango Brothers, the thought you even came. Brother Lou, Lou, Louis, Brother Lou, Lou, Louis. Patrick, the thought you came here. You can win if you want, if you want, you win. Oh, how many guys are, are in your 30s, 40s? Yes? Pigeon, yeah, God. Hey, Paul, let's give it up. I also want to thank. Mr. Ricky Lee and his daughter Melody for opening up. Let's give them a big round of applause. For those of you who don't know Ricky Lee and uh, and these here too, hey, they, you guys raised beautiful and talented dollar, man. Thank you. Yes. What you eat, man? Do you eat for a Hmong village or what, man? I eat uh, get talking here. Get talking here. No, that is their daughter. That's a father and daughter. For those of you who don't know, and I know Kong Brown. I said Kong Brown. You are back in the, you know, every brother here, even though they got name, his name's Ricky, but you know, for those of you back in the day, we got our street names, right? right. We call them project names. Back then, I was like, Toto, right? <laughs> Everyone had a nickname, right? <laughs> Tombu, right? But man, yours was Sang, right? Everyone had a nickname. But back then, when he was Kung Blong, I asked him, hey, man, your family's talented. You guys have your older, older brother was like the Mount Elvis. You had a whole family band. You guys go back four generations. That's right. Yes. Back in the day, the Mongcha, that's all. Teach no more CD, no CD players, no DVD, no Blu ray. You just press the radio, just play, and then, oh, good song, good song, good song. First record, record, oh. You listen, you listen. Before the DJ comes on, you gotta press stop, right? So you don't get the DJ. That was how we burned CDs back then for some of you young people, okay? It was cheap and it was free. All right. So I'm gonna do a little, take a little back. Uh, I'm not really known for my musical talents. I have known for my comedy, right? Actually, I gotta tell you, we have my, my older brothers here too. My brother A, he, uh, he inspired me because he went to college. He was one of the few guys that, uh, he was a brother that went to college. Back then, we had, in the 80s, we had a lot of Hmong brothers who didn't go to college, but they talked like they went to college. <laughs> they would go to, hey, no more. Oh, they know they don't know. They know they don't know. They can't do shit, yeah. They know they don't know. 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 And the pretend college guys would say, Kula, Kuja Kumulu College of the University. Oh, Lolly, no, Kumulu College of the University. Oh, yeah. But they had to talk about it. Go, they know they come with Kumuka, come major, Achina. Kula, Kuja Kum major, eat that degree now. Go for education, my chicken, hang it all. Yeah. But now we actually have real people who went to college and got the degrees in uh, plastic surgery, right? Can you imagine that conversation with your dad? See, go, go some go college now. Me too, come go, come watch it. Go some way to a plastic surgeon now. Plastic surgeon, go call you, me too. Go you to doctor, go call you. Go some call, go watch it. Um, what year? The cold, the cold, the cold, the cold. How do you have that conversation with your dad? Uh, you come call you now. That'd be a cool conversation to have. Is Dr. Is, uh, Dr. David Tall here yet? Oh, he's not here yet. We're going to save that joke for later, okay? So all right, I'm going to take it back. You guys heard Mr. Ricky Lee do some Hmong songs. I was one of those Hmong kids. We're going to go to Michael Jackson. We're going to go to Michael Jackson. I used to know my mom go to the party. I used to wait like voltage party, KZ party. Yeah. Three dollar in advance, five dollar at the door. Yeah. And when you walk in, everyone know everyone. And you don't need to go metal detector because you're the Yeah. And come and talk. If there was some lady sitting out in the front, 
if they didn't fit, if the moms are right behind them, anyone could ask them to dance. You don't have any haters like you had today. Hey, turn your call, come y'all. You can go up, man, and all the guys will stand up in the back like, oh, yo, you're talking to you, okay, okay. Oh, easy, oh, okay, I gotta wait, I gotta be the first one. Music, talk to you, oh! Come on, come on, I did that. First one, first time I ever did that. I worked with the courage with We oh, I gotta do, I gotta go, man. And when you go up to the front, you have to go between the rows, right? You go to the hey, come on, come on, The first time I did that, she looked at me, she said, no, thank you. Oh! And I'm standing up, everyone's sitting down, you putting the color there. They're all looking at me like, okay, okay, is he gonna get a dance? Oh, I come back, I'm like, oh man, defeat. Defeat! <laughs> but that's okay, because we get better. And then later on, we go out and say, she said, no. The third time, she said, oh, I got smarter. I talk to the mom now. If I asked her, she said, no, I said, oh, I need to the law. Oh, what's your TJ? I need to the law. Oh, Minneapolis. I'm going to say, Paul, she said, she said, she looked at me, she looked at her mom. I was like, you better go. She's like, okay, I'll go. I'm like, yeah. The secret all along was don't talk to her. Ask her mama. Her mom said, you better get out there and dance because I know her his daddy. So let's do a little, uh, <clears throat> Let's bring it back. I'm gonna do a little song. I used to, I used to walk like uh, Michael Jackson and a little cameo. Let's hit it, Pete. Come on. Then then bring it back. I don't know about you. I'm having fun. I haven't even drunk it yet. Yeah. Oh.